Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. This week I'm going to cover a topic that on the face of it might appear hugely complex and if you stumbled across it you might dismiss it as being either too technical or you might not think it's applicable to you. However, in this short video I'm going to dispel any fears that you may have and show you how to set up your own private virtual network. One that allows you to effortlessly network together all of your devices no matter where they are allowing you to set up remote access, share files, and much, much more. The application that provides this functionality is Tailscale. It's free, open source, peer-to-peer, -peer, fully encrypted, and it just works. It's a zero configuration tool. There's minimal setup required, no messing about with port forwarding. It really just does work, and it's so simple to set up. So here we are across on the tailscale.com website. Now the website itself, if you just as a scroll through, you might think it's really aimed at teams and there is a lot of functionality built into the application or the service that does allow you to share resources with teams, but it's just as effective uh, for your own personal use. And there is a free plan as well, which is all that you need to get started. First thing to understand is that Tailscale is not a traditional VPN or virtual private network where you might use a tool like ClearVPN to obfuscate your IP address and protect you when accessing the internet. Tailscale allows you to connect and communicate between your own devices, no matter where you are in the world. It, it's sort of like a virtual local area network for your own devices. Now on the website itself, there's more information. And um, what I mentioned before about connecting any devices, you'll see if I scroll down, it has support for hundreds of different services and devices. So Mac OS, iOS, if you've got Raspberry Pis, if you've got Linux boxes, Synology NASes, uh, Windows machines, Android machines, you can connect these all together and seamlessly transfer files and communicate with each other very, very simply. What I might do is just show you the basics, how to get started, and then perhaps follow up in a future long show to show you some of the more advanced features. But I'm gonna start off by creating a free account so I'm going to go ahead and click on the try for free button. Now you do need to sign up with an identity provider. So a Google account, a Microsoft account, GitHub, or an Apple account, and there are others as well, but I'm going to sign up with my Apple account. One of the benefits of this is that you sort of utilize the full security of your Apple sign-in. Now I'm logged into this Mac using my SEO demo account. So it's picked up that uh, this is my Apple ID. I'm just going to go ahead and continue with touch ID, signing me in. And that's the account set up. Now, how easy is that? Now, obviously I need to start adding some devices and uh, I have a prompt here to add our first device with a link because this is a Mac OS machine. There's a link to download Tailscale for Mac OS. So let me go ahead and click on that. That will take me across to the Mac App Store. Now I already have Tailscale installed on this Mac. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open the application that's already installed. Because I'm running Bartender, it's actually appeared within Bartender, but this is the, the icon I need to log in. I'm gonna go ahead and say sign in. Authenticate using my Apple ID. So you're about to connect the device Mac Mini to the SEO demo Tailnet. They called the actual network at Tailnet. Uh, I can have a look at my device details if I want to and then I can go ahead and say connect. Right, this is prompting me because when I do transfer files, it will drop them into my downloads folder. So I need to give Tailscale permission to write received files to my downloads folder. We'll say okay to that. And there is my Mac mini registered Tailscale. Let me just get rid of that. So that's my first device. Uh, obviously I need to add some additional devices. So let me go ahead and add my iPhone in. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month 
and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.